Fresh from announcement, that was our quick Honor 90 unboxing. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to ZS Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. This is our first look at the Honor 90. As early as now, I'm telling you, it's a very pretty phone. I'm personally very excited to test out those cameras because that is a 200 megapixel main shooter and a 50 megapixel selfie shooter front. I'm getting ahead of myself. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the phone. We're also gonna be doing a camera tour. Plus, you're gonna see first images from this phone. Let's go. So here we go. I'm honestly loving the look of this phone. And this texture though, you're not gonna get like fingerprint smudges on this. This particular color is the peacock blue. And I also almost thought this was the white one. That iridescent look I am all for. We get all three cameras in these two modules here. And Honor it talks a big talk about how those modules are designed. I will have to say those rings do look good, like particularly these edges. Look at the light shining off of those. So again, for this phone, we get a main shooter. We get a wide that's also macro and a depth camera, which is the way to do it, I think. Oof, can't get enough of how the light shines on this phone. This is also a very sleek phone. As you can see, it's perfect for people with tiny hands like me. That edge shows off that curved screen. We have an always on display as you just saw. And then we have an on screen fingerprint scanner. Look at that screen go. I'm still all for like curved displays. And this I feel like is the perfect angle for stuff like that. On the side, we have fingerprint rocker unlock button. That is what the camera module looks like from the sides as well. At the bottom, you have the speakers, you have the USB-C port, and we're getting a dual SIM situation right here. We're also getting a clean other side and a clean top of the phone. I mean, this is one responsive device, you guys. If only for the looks, I'd say yes. Did you see that? That was the face unlock. Let's try that again. There we go. Again, we have, well, okay. It recognized my face, so I didn't have to see. See, it sees my face, so I didn't have to do the fingerprint unlock. Anyway, it's camera tour time, friends. So we have your wide, 1X, 2X. Ooh, look at how the light shines behind on the back of this phone. And then you get AI here up top. And because there was AI, as you saw, it does recognize that there's a face there. Up top, you have your QR code scanner. Ooh, that's actually quite useful. You have live, well, moving photos, it's called on this phone. You have your flash settings. There is a bulb flash, interesting. I almost never turn this on, but I'm also aware that like young people these days do the Gen Z selfie with the flash on. That's, yeah, we should try more of that. I am sounding like an old lady. Okay, let's move on. We have your, ooh, filters based on usage habits. Okay, so you have different filters as well on the phone. You have your settings here. You have smart capture which has gesture controls and capture smiles interesting on the other side you have video of course you can do a wide 1x 2x up until 6x on this back to 1x you have portrait mode on video nice but a distance of two meters from the subject it says so here and then you can do 1x 2x oh look at the background weak bokeh strong bokeh oh nice that looks good i feel like i'm gonna enjoy doing a camera vlog test with this phone and then here you get a beauty mode on video up here you have ai you have flash settings you have filters as well for video and then you can shoot up until 4k with the rear camera although it does say here that 1080p is recommended what is this Ooh, solo cut mode. So what, 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 what does this do? 
Oh wait, this is the mode that basically shoots a lot of different types and then so later after shooting the video, you can choose from which different type of mode is best looking. Let's see. So for example, this is the video now. And this is, what is this? We're getting into D. This is supposed to be like a quick camera tour. Whoa, that's a, an editing app built into the phone. No, it's an app, it's a different app, but it's already on the phone. What does this do? You can do wide, 1x, 2x. Wait, it says tapping the track frame can get generate an additional motion track video. That's, oh, look. So there's a motion track video and then there's a separate video. This thing does a lot. Let's, let's try this. So I'm gonna go back to 1x. Be like, hey, what up? Oh my gosh, oh, it basically follows me. And then you can tap this. To give a preview it says okay stop wait 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 wait, wait. okay i take everything back it says here i got it wrong so look at can generate additional motion track portrait video so what you do is you take a wider video of whatever scene and then you can generate like a smaller video if you tap on one of the subjects so basically it's a two-in-one basically it's a video you shoot and then you can so look at it we can try this if you guys want let me know if you want a camera vlog test with this phone anyway let's move on we have the multi video mode so you have different combination recording videos and you have different iterations for that you can do this or this or this so many different ways and then you have your pro mode 1x 2x up until 10x as well you have that for video Man, there are a lot of things on here you have a slow-mo mode 1x 2x up until well 2x and then you can do up until 8x you have a panorama mode, an HDR mode, HDR video, time lapse. What can you do with time lapse? You know what time lapses are, but you can do wide 1x, 2x time lapses. Wait, up until 6x time lapses. You have your stickers. Where are the stickers? Okay, okay, those are cute. And then you have your super macro mode. Now it is the wide on this phone that's the super macro. You have a high res mode. Again, that is a 200 megapixel main camera. So all this means is that when you shoot on this mode, you can get 200 megapixel cameras. Just a quick reminder, we have a separate mode for this because cameras use pixel binning to create photos with better detail. They don't default shoot to the amount of megapixels, so many as they have. They don't default to that number. And then you have a story mode, which as it looks, gives you like different templates so that it will be easier for you to stitch together videos. Interesting, look. And then scenes, what are scenes? love journey of love makeup exercise interesting this is something i'd like to try then you have a scan document mode always useful okay let's see so multi-video of course you have your selfie mode on video sup guys <laughs> you have wide and then you have one x can you zoom in what is that gosh okay you have wide you have one x and then you can zoom into <laughs> one x you have your beauty mode let's see how that looks i have pimples that's normal people it's normal to have pimples but let's see just what this can do oh that's too much no okay no we're, we're not doing the beauty mode we have auto flash you have your different filters as well on here and then can you do 4K on selfie? Ooh, it seems you can. And then you have photos wide, 1X, no more zoomies. And then this is moving photo as well. Portrait gives you the same wide, 1X. How do, oh, you can turn on or off the bokeh. Like what's the difference between a portrait photo and a photo photo if I turn off the portrait on the portrait mode? the bokeh on the portrait mode. I am not so sure. Anyway, ooh, this is a more detailed beauty mode on here. And then, wait, we forgot the rear part of this other side. So let's do both sides now. So you have a night mode on selfie. And then of course you can like fill light on if you're in a dark area. Uh, you have your beauty modes here and on the back, you have wide, 1X, 2X, up until 10X on night mode. And then aperture mode, which is basically the bokeh mode, but for 
not people so you have your aperture adjustments from 0.95 the blurriest to 16 and then okay no selfie mode on here right that was our quick camera tour let's get to some sample shots today's video let me know what you think of the honor 90 let me know what type of videos you'd want me to make with this phone comment down below if you want to see how i use my tech on a daily basis find me online that's isa does underscore on instagram twitter and tiktok until next time